Completing the Psycho Fantasy, here we have, from the Hogwarts Iconic Collection, a set that's clearly meant to be displayed in Hedwig. Captured in a majestic moment, wings and tails spread wide, carrying a letter, we've also got some books, a potion, a wand, and more. So, you know what comes next. You open this box, see what we have inside, and we can get this build underway, so we can have a closer look at Hedwig. I saw the images on the box, I saw the pictures online, I knew exactly what I was building, but until you have it sitting right in front of you, you can't really appreciate the majesticness of this kit. It's grand. It has that wow factor. And this Lego owl, made of solid Lego bricks, has the impression of being fluffy, as remarkable as that seems. But there's more than just headway to appreciate here, so starting from the ground up, let's get a closer look. Starting in the back, first we have this little display stand, which has three collectible minifigs on it, which we'll get back to a little bit later in the review. But we're going to touch on now because in the center, Dumbledore's display is the card from the Chocolate Frog, as seen in the Daily Prophet, and coming with enchanted portraits of famous witches and wizards. And quite fittingly, right next to it, we have Chocolate Frog, a delicatessen we've seen several times in the Harry Potter franchise and can be purchased in multiple locations in the Wizarding World. Next up, we have Harry Potter's Wand, which you can remove from the books if you so choose, and I have to say is a pretty good fit for my adult size hands. Then we have his glasses, the arms do fold out, and it actually does fit on my face, although a little small for me, but there's really no reason for me to expect child-sized glasses to fit on my adult-sized face. Sticking out from under the book, we have his scarf in his typical Gryffindor color scheme, although if you so choose, you can actually assemble the scarf in any of the other house colors. I'm not really sure why, because this kit is very much Harry Potter themed and not someone else from the series, but they gave you the option, so why not? And as a side benefit, this kit has much more and much larger leftover pieces than one would typically find. Now on our fourth side, I'd like to first bring your attention to these two studs down here. I'm not sure why they're not simply flat tiles. I don't know what they're thinking we might attach here. If you have any ideas, please put it in the comments below. I'd love to know. And then there are three books, all stacked up on top of each other. The lowest one, pages wide open, would be Tom Riddle's Diary. 
And I gotta say that I'm really impressed with the technique that LEGO used to make these steps in the pages. It just looks fantastic. The blue and the red one right above aren't any books in particular that I can recognize, but they do look pretty great themselves. Atop the books, we've got a basket full of potions and ingredients. Among them, we can find jars of powdered root of asphodel, gillyweed, wormwood infusion, polyjuice potion, and a vial of Felix Felix's liquid luck. Always good to have on hand. As we continue around, we come to a Hogwarts acceptance letter. Made out to an unnamed student, I really don't know why, it really should just be Harry Potter, and signed by Professor McGonagall. And I'm also pleased to say that the three pieces that make up this letter are printed pieces and not stickers. And hovering in the air right next to that, we have the Golden Snitch, which I have to say looks super dynamic and almost animated in its static pose. The use of these two hot air balloon components to make up the wings was a very effective choice. Now, moving on up to the majestic Snowy Owl, which has its tail spread wide, mostly white with black speckles throughout. Coming around to the front, the heavily feathered legs to keep them warm in the winter are firmly gripping onto the Hogwarts letter with three talons per foot. The body itself is very round and almost spherical. On the back, the speckled patterning continues with some great detailing in the wings and the speckling turning to gray as you move out to the tips of the wings. And then back in front, we have the very round snowy owl face with two very large eyes, one dark beak, and the whole thing demounted on a pivot point, allowing you to rotate the face so you can angle it just right for wherever you want to place it in your display. And now try minifigs, which come with this little display stand and all come in this almost uniform golden color. And this is because they're part of a series of minifigs that were released to celebrate 20 years of Lego Harry Potter, as noted on each of their backs. This set comes with three of them, which is quite a few, and it's my understanding that there are six others out there. And if you already have been, or are planning to collect more of these minifigs, the stand expands, making room for nine golden minifigs on one stand, which would look pretty great in any Lego Harry Potter display, which is right where this set belongs. I don't have a Harry Potter display of my own, so I can't give any first-hand impressions of how this compares to other Harry Potter display sets, but I have a feeling that the size of this owl with its wings spread wide might actually even rival the huge Hogwarts set itself, which I guess is my way of saying that I see this as a top-tier display kit. Unfortunately, there's no real play value to this set, but that's just fine because it more than makes up for it in other categories. And as to noteworthy LEGO elements that come with the set, I feel there are three that are worthy of mention. First up, we have two of these elements that are used to make up the spectacles, I have a feeling that these pieces may have been created just for this kit. Then we have the circular element, certainly something I've seen before, but the first time I've seen it come in a clear variety, so that's pretty cool. And then we have this plate with five Technics pin connectors on the bottom. I've never seen this before, so it might be new. And for my final thoughts, I think it's pretty clear that this set would be most appreciated by LEGO collectors and Harry Potter fans alike. If you've already been collecting LEGO Harry Potter, I think this set is a no-brainer because the set is both awesome and you're probably already planning to complete the gold minifigure collection. And if you're just loving LEGO display pieces, this is pretty great in and of itself. You don't even need a Harry Potter collection. I'm personally planning on making this a standalone piece, on display where no other LEGO is present, because it just holds its own that well. So if you've got some extra coins to drop, either on yourself or that special someone, I mean the holiday season is right around the corner, I think this set is a fantastic option.